Hi everyone, Tao here. We finally have decent weather here in Toronto. Perfect day to take the S10 Plus camera out for a spin. I also brought along my Pixel 3 and Note 9 for a comparison. All right, so the Pixel 3 is probably my favorite smartphone camera. Now, I know not everyone cares for the processing that Google does, but hey, it's hard to argue how consistently reliable the camera is. The Note 9 is no slouch either. My two biggest complaints with it were the less than ideal selfies and its trouble capturing moving subjects. Anyways, let's see how this brand new S10 Plus camera stacks up. Let's go. Starting with some selfies. I was a little nervous about this first shot as the sun was shining right at the cameras. The photo that stands out to me is the S10 Plus. I'm seeing a lot more details in my face and I like the dreamy vibe that it has going for it. It's probably not the best picture from a photography perspective, but it's definitely my favorite out of the three. So in this shot, the Pixel 3 just wouldn't blur out the face of the woman smoking behind me, despite it being just a painting. I took the photo three times to be sure. Anyways, let me know which one you like best. It got super cold, so I ran inside. Here's another selfie portrait. They all look very similar, but the Pixel 3 is pulling out a lot more detail. Looks like I'm the only person who'd come to the beach in the middle of winter. I left Scene Optimizer on, and you can see it really punching up the colors on the S10+. Plus. The coolest addition to the S10 lineup this year is probably the ultra-wide angle lens. Here's the same shot with that lens. Super cool. Here's a shot that's way too close to my face. This should give you guys an idea how well each camera picks up detail in close-up portraits. In terms of favorite photo, I think the Note 9 killed it. I didn't get a chance to really test video out in detail, but I did try a super steady on the S10 Plus, and it's seriously gimbal-like stable. Just look at how smooth that footage is. Colors seem more vibrant also. Moving on to some indoor shots, the Pixel will tend to shift colors to a cooler temperature while the Samsung devices lean more towards the warmer side. Although I like the mood the Pixel 3 has going for it, I think the S10 Plus is the most balanced here. Take a look at a couple more examples of this color temperature shift happening. This occurs pretty consistently. First one in the fitting room, and one of me and my ride. Here's a sample of portrait mode taken indoors. All cameras did a good job cutting me out from the background. The S10 Plus is definitely giving the Pixel 3 a run for its money here. Say hello to my little friend Milo. The most accurate one is definitely coming from the Pixel 3. One thing I want to mention is that if you take a lot of pictures of your pets or kids, the Pixel handles moving subjects the best. I love them all though. He looks super cute in every single one. I took another shot so you guys can see how well the camera typically handles movement. I decided to snap another portrait shot. Edge detection didn't turn out perfect on any of them. As you can see, there is some blurriness on the side of my leg. But the amount of detail the Pixel was able to capture is very impressive. For my foodies out there, I didn't forget about you guys. Here's one that I took in a dimly lit restaurant of some food. On to some low light shots. I decided to take a quick selfie where I was at the arcade with some neon lights shining onto my face. And another of me while playing a game in the same lighting conditions. On the way home, snapped a couple of low light shots. Once again, the wide angle lens on the S10 Plus comes in real handy. It completely changes the perspective in this example. And last picture for this comparison is of a Starbucks storefront. Let me know which camera did best.
So a couple of other things I noticed while playing with the video settings, 4K video recording no longer has a time limit. On the Note 9, it had a five minute cap. You can actually record video with the ultra wide angle lens on the back too, which should open up a lot of cool possibilities. Throw in the fact that the S10 Plus can record 4K on the front facing camera, it's easily the best phone for video out of the three devices. For pictures though, I still think the Pixel 3 is more consistent and retains a lot more detail, especially in faces. Anyways, as usual, thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully this gives you a better perspective on how all three cameras perform in different situations. Until the next one, peace. Bye!